Hi, this is Pat Dignan from Image Arts. Um, this is the fourth in the series of uh, five videos about making this 3D box. Um, here we're, we're up to the step of lighting the scene and um, here we'll select the box. Um, if you notice it's not, um, it's kind of like through the floor. It's Part of it is below the center line so um, we want to move it um, move it till it to set it on the ground and so the, the easiest way to do that is to go from a front view and just pull it down till it's right on that line just like that and uh, we also should probably move it to the center of the world like that um, and move it forward too, um, as long as we're centering things. Um, now we'll need to um, draw a uh, a backdrop, basically, or a tabletop to put this on. I've set up a layer here to put that on. We'll draw out a a square um, for that, and select the back edge of it, and pull that up to make the back. We'll then select this edge again and uh, bevel it using a number of steps here so that um, it's a smooth transition around the um, around that uh, curve so you don't see any any uh, steps along the way. Um, so we have a backdrop there and we want to uh, assign it a color. Uh, we, well, in this case we want it to be white, um, but we'll just call it a backdrop. Leave the color to white. Um, and let's set that to zero and leave smoothing on. So it doesn't appear to change much in the view here, but um, when we render it would make a, a little difference in like how the light would catch it. Um, now we need to create lights and for that way I've uh, created a layer here and we'll also draw a square kind of facing the other way here and okay we'll just have to turn it around um, we'll aim it at the uh, at the box as if um, as if it was a a real light like uh, the face of a soft box um, being put on the um, on the uh, on the box here um, and what we can do is um, we'll go here to the um, shader tree uh, click on render we want to turn off some things here we want to turn off uh, the environment lighting and then go to um, here where we need to assign a surface to this we'll call this light one and we can make the color or make diffuse zero so it and um, we'll go here down here to luminous intensity and we'll say five that that makes it basically put out light um, it turns it from being just a regular polygon into into a light um, and we've got this little preview pane that's, the camera is far away from the scene right now and you can see that there's this light being cast onto this little box right here which is our which is our box so next we can go and set up the camera we'll pull it in uh, kind of get a an angle on it here let's set the uh, let's go to camera here and set the perspective to something a little wider maybe a 35 millimeter lens and pull in even tighter kind of do one of these things a little bit um, on the box maybe not quite so severe as that that's pretty strong uh, but you can see what's what's starting to happen here it is as if we have a a, a soft box off to the left side of the of our box of air that's uh that's lighting the scene we're getting a little bit of a highlight here off the off the um, corner of the um, corner of the box um, uh, 
I'll uh, be adding extra, more lights to this and refining the camera angle and, and that kind of thing um, in the next video. And, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll render out two different versions of this um, box here um, to show how, it's, uh, how we can change the, the appearance of, of something like this very quickly. Um, that's about it. Thank you.